Hey guys, we made it to the Long Beach Motorcycle Show. Lots of motorcycles, as you guys can see. So let's go inside. Let's go take a look. I don't know if it's even possible, but it looks like uh, there is less stuff than uh, last year. But let's begin with BMW. Let's see what's new. On this side, we have the old K line. Lots of people and I don't much care for it. Now here is a bike that I actually do care about because I'm incredibly fascinated by the S1000 XR. BMW made a lot of fuzz about this bike which is a, a new bike that looks like an old bike all right looks pretty now I do like the R1200R which now is R1250R There is a whole selection of uh, R90s. And then there is the F900 XR. I'm not quite sure about this bike. 100 cc less than a S1000 XR. Uh, inline twin which is not the smoothest of engines other than that it does look like a small s 1000 xr s 1000 double r as magnificent as always is I always come in with best of intentions that there is so many people around that uh, I end up not doing much well it's triumph time as always The popper kind of looks cool. Let's take a look at the Speed Triple RS. Lots of carbon fiber. One of my favorite bikes from Triumph. It just looks proper. Single sided swing arm, double exhaust up high. It is time to go take a look at the Suzuki's. So, when it comes to the Suzuki, obviously, the Busa unchanged. And uh, for good reasons. Busa 2020, 14,700, not bad at all. 
and then obviously squid machine we have a GSXR which if you buy you might want to buy in uh, Suzuki colors As you guys know, I'm a big fan of naked bikes, so here is the GSX-S 1000. Pretty good price, 11. But let's go take a look at what everybody is talking about. The new Katana. 13.5 Fairly cool looking bike Naked-ish You guys can see the Honda guys I mean to take a look Maybe the Yamaha guys Time to go take a look at Honda and Marquez bike. As much as I don't like the dude, the bike is really cool. And you can see on this side, you have a Yamaha or Suzuki engineer looking the bike over. But let's go take a look at what. Uh, what is new and that is the new CBR 1000 RRR SP A pretty big bike. I'd much rather ride this one, as I said multiple times. And that's a real advantage in traffic. Right now. Here we go, let's take a look at Kawasaki. Love the green. As always, lots of uh, dirt bikes. And this is Johnny Ray. Yeah. And ninjas. Start with the 650. This is why I say buy Kawasaki in green. Look at that green. Pretty cool looking dash. I'll tell you what, I would definitely buy a ninja in green. Damn, I love the green. Let's take a look at Madness. H2SX. Wider than I thought. Yeah. 
page two. Okay. That's page two also. And let's take a look at something I'm never going to be able to afford. H2R. Looks like an airplane. Let's go see if I can find something cool. I don't see it. Let's make my way to the coolest booth of all. And I'm obviously talking about Vespa. No, just kidding. Aprilia. Ooh. That's cool. Mm. It's a cool looking tuono. The Misano colors. 16 green guys. Not that bad. <laughs> RS 660. Yeah. Should I ruin it for everybody? Let's take a look at Bugs Bunny. Good looking bike. A little empty over there. Now, now that we found uh, the coolest bike of all, I don't see the MV Augusta. I was looking for the MV, I don't see them. I do see another Italian brand. Let's go take a look. Multi hasn't changed much. Still the same, 1260. Looking great. That's a Honda engineer. Trying to look at how to make a good looking bike. I'm doing different things on the map, so happening with the slip and see what's happening, and that's really the best way to tell. So, you know, for for example, we all talk about you know setting up our bikes for us. And suspension guys want to, you know, set up a bike for the rider weight, you know, for suspension. Or uh, is it a one time that it goes off or Wayne uh, Davidson? Yeah, so when you set up for the street, you only have one. I just realized that uh, there is no KTM stand either. I just saw a KTM somewhere, but it wasn't uh, on a KTM stand. All right, I see something cool and something that I'm a pretty big fan of. It's electric bikes. So take a look. Does that look familiar? All my Aprilia friends. So if you guys never watch Moto E, it might be worth taking a look at it. It's pretty fun. Not as many laps as Moto GP because they're all electric, but Then there is that. Which makes just some time manufacturing prototyping. So I mean that is a is complicated that that
Uh, that is about it. Uh, looked for the Envia Gusta booth. I couldn't find it. I'm gonna keep going around, see if I can find any, but uh, there is not much going on uh, this year. As always, they try to sell you the world behind me, the marketplace over there, but when it comes to uh, manufacturers, only the big ones. The problem with this place is they do the IMS one or two weeks after ECMA. So not everybody's gonna make it here. They should move it a month away from it or something. But there it is. Well, I hope uh, you guys like uh, this look at what's going on here in Long Beach. If you do, leave a like downstairs. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Let's go check it out some more. Come on.